ASB thinks house prices will go up 7.3% in 2024. The Reserve Bank says 5.2%. ANZ thinks 4%. But do they actually know what they're talking about? I've dug through all of their old forecasts and we're going to see if a random number generator can beat the bank's economists. Yep, we're going to see if randomly generated numbers can beat highly paid, university trained economists. And through all of this, you are going to find out which bank is best at predicting house prices. I'm Ed, an economist here at Opus Partners, and this is Property Now. Let's start with ANZ, our biggest bank in New Zealand. Over the last four years, ANZ's house price predictions were way off. Back in March 2020, they put out a prediction saying house prices are going to fall by over 13% over the next 12 months. And actually, house prices, they went up 24%, so they were 37 percentage points off. Now, we can forgive them for that. It was during COVID. Not many of us had lived during a global pandemic before. But back in September 2021, they said, over the next 12 months, we think house prices they're going to stay relatively steady. They're only going to go up 2.9%. But in reality, they fell by 8.1%. So ANZ's economists were 11% off. When you average it out, half the time, ANZ's economists are at least 5.6% off. Not really accurate at all. So I've put these forecasts against my random number generator. And this spreadsheet randomly picks a number and estimates how much house prices will go up. And I've run random numbers over 500,000 times to see, can I get it to beat ANZ's economists? And in some years, the economists are pretty good. My random numbers only beat them 3% of the time. But if we look at some of those years where ANZ was way off, random numbers beat university trained economists 99% of the time. When you add it all together, ANZ economists Weren't that accurate. Random numbers beat them 38% of the time. Yes, more than one time out of three, my random number generator was more accurate than ANZ's forecasts, at least over the last four years. But can ASB do any better? ASB's numbers, way more accurate. They said house prices would go up 5.3% in the 12 months to March 2021. They were under, but not by as much as ANZ. House prices went up 18% by these numbers. They use a different data set. And if you just look at this graph and compare it to ANZ's, you'll see that ASB's predictions tend to be a bit more accurate. But how often can ASB beat my random number generator? Now, in some years, ASB economists beat my random number generator 100% of the time. But other times, a randomly generated number would have beaten ASB's economists over half the time. Let's average it out and see how they did. Random numbers could only beat ASB's economists 22% of the time, about one in five, but I still think that's pretty good for a random number against a university trained economist. Now, part of the reason that ASB is a bit more accurate, at least in this analysis, is they don't release their house price forecasts as often as ANZ. ANZ makes a proper forecast 12 months out, ASB's predictions, they often come out a little later, so it's like they've already peaked at the answer. Nonetheless, ASB beats ANZ, at least in this analysis. And you might wonder why you're not looking at Westpac or Big NZ or Kiwi Bank. Well, those guys don't have an archive of forecasts that I can dig through, so they get off scot-free in this video. And if you like learning about property in this really number-focused way, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We release new videos every Monday and Wednesday. Now let's get back to it and see who is the bank with the best crystal ball. Reserve Bank, you're next up. Lastly, let's look at Adrian Orr at the Reserve Bank. If you'd followed the Reserve Bank's 12-month forecasts, you would have completely missed the 2020-2021 house price boom. House prices shot up over 30% in the year to September 2021, but 12 months back, the Reserve Bank thought that house prices would actually go down 0.2%. And COVID's not an excuse for that because that forecast was released four months after we came out of the first lockdown. So can the 510 people working at the Reserve Bank beat a random number generator? Now the Reserve Bank beat my random number generator only 54% of the time. That's right, 54%. 
random numbers in my Excel spreadsheet were more accurate than the Reserve Bank's 510 staff 46% of the time. That is not much better than a little coin flip. But why are they so wrong? Why can't the 510 people working at the Reserve Bank create an accurate house price forecast? Well, economists make predictions about the future based on the data available today, but the world keeps turning and new data comes out all of the time. And us economists, we expect these forecasts to be wrong when we put them out. The Reserve Bank themselves, they just call it a guesstimate. And house prices aren't the only things that banks care about, they care about a lot of other data points as well. But in this analysis, ASB is the most accurate, followed by ANZ, then the Reserve Bank, and finally, unfortunately, my random number generator. Now, when you look at house price forecasts, that just means pay a little bit more attention to ASB. They think house prices will go up 7.3% by the end of 2024. And if you work in the economics department of one of the banks I've mentioned, I hope you see the fun side of this.